Hello and welcome to News Mobile Prime Time Wrap. I am Saurabh Shukla. Here are the top news stories of the day. US Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris thanked US President Joe Biden for his lifetime of service to the nation while addressing the opening of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago the 59 year old leader said the country was forever grateful to Biden for his leadership President Joe Biden delivered his valedictory address to the Democratic National Convention on Monday night as his decision to end his re-election bid released newfound energy within his party with Vice President Kamala Harris's elevation to the top of the ticket Endorsing Kamala Harris, Biden said, Selecting Kamala was the very first decision I made when I became our nominee, and it was the best decision I made in my whole career. Days after Ambient Mall in Gurugram and Mall of India in Noida received bomb threats, several malls and a hospital in South Delhi received bomb threat via email again on Tuesday, according to the Delhi police. The email threat, which eventually turned out to be a hoax, claimed that an explosive would go off in a few hours. The Supreme Court on Tuesday directed the Central Bureau of Investigation to submit a progress report regarding the investigation into the R.G. Kar Medical College rape and murder case by Thursday. The Apex Court also wrapped up the Mamata Banerjee government for their failure to stop a large mob from vandalizing the emergency ward of the hospital on August 15. A video of Donald Trump allegedly warning of election fraud in the U.S. amid the Mpox outbreak is doing the rounds on social media. In the video, Trump Trump accuses the left wing of trying to reimpose lockdowns and reignite COVID-19 hysteria as the 2024 presidential elections draw near. Newsmobile fact-checked the viral post and found it to be misleading. Running a reverse image search of the video key frames, the Newsmobile team identified a YouTube video on an independent news network channel dated August 31st, 2023. Given that the video has been online since 2023, it cannot be linked to the ongoing monkeypox virus. Searching further, we came across the same video on the official Instagram handle of Trump on the same day. Therefore, we can conclusively say that the viral post claiming to show Trump accusing the left wing of trying to reimpose lockdowns and reignite COVID-19 hysteria amid the monkeypox outbreak is misleading. Thanks for watching News Mobile Primetime Wrap and do let us know what do you think of our stories and do share this video. Thanks for watching.